Hey guys, welcome to Deba Academy. This is me Mayuri and in this tutorial, we are going to build this wonderful looking iOS clone of weather app. So stick around till the end of the video and let's get it started. Okay, so we will start with the blank scaffold. Okay, this is our blank screen where we are going to populate the UI. Okay, and uh, before starting, I have done the two settings which I am going to show you. So the first one is we have to go to the pubsec YML file and over here I have added the name of the folder where I have stored my images. Okay, so here is the base uh, folder. Okay, over there I have created this folder assets and inside this folder I have added the images. Okay, this images which we are going to use in our application. Okay, so this assets folder I have created inside the base folder of our project. Okay, and I have added the path in my pubsec YML file. And the second thing is I have populated this data. Okay, I have created this class weather item where I have uh, added the things like location, temperature. Okay, these are the things which will be which we will be need to display over here. Okay. And I have populated it with some data. Now, obviously, this are the fake data. You can use JSON also in the real time. This data can come from a API. Okay, so now we are going to populate our list with this particular data. Okay. okay, so two settings which I have done is created this assets folder. Okay, and added the path in the pubsec YML file. And second thing is I have populated this data, which we need to display on the list view. Okay, I have created this list over here. And okay, now let us get started. Let us go to our main class. Now this is our blank scaffold. And we will start from here. Okay. So first thing we will do is we will add the body. And we are going to use list view dot builder. Okay, it has this item builder and it takes the two parameters context and index. Now consider this item builder function as your for loop and index as your i variable. Okay, your item builder function is equivalent to your for loop. Okay, now we have to extract this particular list. Okay, which has weather items. So let us do that. Final weather item. Okay, we are going to extract the values from this list. Okay, and we have to return over here a container. Okay, right now I will be returning a blank container, so that is why nothing is seen on the screen. So let me give some height to this container, say 100, and uh, I will add a child as the stack. Now what the stack widget does is it will uh, place the widgets one above another. Okay, so what I have done is I have added a container and I have added the child stack. Okay, now you can see there is the background image and on the top of that the text are displayed. So that is the reason why I am using the stack. Okay, so in the base there will be an image and above the image there will be text. Okay, and stack widget helps us to do that. Right, so first what I will do is I will add the background image. Okay, so for that we will use this image.asset and we are going to retrieve it from our model class. Okay, over here the name is list item. Okay, we have defined this parameter in our model class and we are going to retrieve it. Okay, and I will right. Okay, you can see over here we have defined this parameter image and we are just retrieving it over here. Right? Okay, now one more thing wrap this with the container, wrap this image with the container and give it the proper width so these are properly displayed. So, yes, we will give the width equal to the media query. Okay, because we want this background image to take the full width. And so now you can see that uh, these are pretty messed up. Let us fix that. So what we can do is, okay, there is one error also, okay. No problem. 
so let let us first fix the images so what we will do is we will go to the image asset and there is this parameter called as fit and we will do box fit dot fit width okay so this will take the entire width now let us see this error what it is okay okay right so what we have done is uh, we have to go to the list view builder and over here we have to write this item count parameter which we have missed and this item count equals to the number of the data in the list okay so we will just do load list whether items dot length okay so now this error is also gone and this is pretty okay right so what we have done is we have taken the stack and we have added the background image right so now let us add more uh, widgets over here so now you can see there is a light background okay overlay a little black overlay so that the text about it are properly defined okay so what we will do is we will just add a blank container over here and give it a background okay give it a color so let us do that we have added a container and give it a color as a black but we will add the opacity so that it will be like a transparent okay so the image is also properly displayed okay so now you can see the difference okay after adding this container okay there is a light black color overlay so that the text whatever we will write are properly displayed okay so what we have done is we have added a stack we have added the container for the background image and the black overlay container now let us start by adding the text okay so now let us go back to our uh, image and check okay so here you can see that uh, first is this um, location for the first one and then rest of it it is the time okay so that comes from the data so we will not worry about the data right now we will develop a wonderful ui so what we will do is we will use the column over here okay and so let us go back and check this why column because this is above one below another right this is time over here and just below over here that is the name of the location right so that is the reason why we are using the column okay, so first container what we will do is we will write the time over here we will add the text and say list item dot time okay so this is the time which we are trying to display okay this particular time okay so now let us save and hot reload and check okay you can see this time is displayed now let us format this text okay first i will give the alignment to this container okay now what else uh, we will give some padding okay edge insect dot on the top say 20 okay on the left hand side 20 top 20 okay cool now let us style the text okay so we will add the white color and increase the font size okay now this is pretty much looking good okay now we have to add the name of the location so let us do that what i will do is i will copy paste this okay we will add this name of the location so for that what i will do is i will just copy paste this and change the name that is textile dot location so the location is displayed and we will increase the font size say 30 okay now this is pretty okay i think we should work on some padding okay now this is pretty good now now what we are going to do is we will display the look uh, the temperature value right so for that we will need a row so we will wrap this column in the row and now when we do that you can see now this is pretty messed up again so we will give some alignment to rows and column okay so for the row i will add main axis alignment and the cross axis alignment and uh, similarly i will add to the column as well okay main axis alignment dot start and cross axis alignment dot 
start okay cool now this is good okay now after this column what we are going to do is we are going to add the value of the location okay so this container is for the okay we are going to add the container for location and i have just copy pasted this and instead of list item what i have done is added the location okay sorry we have to add the temperature okay now we can see the value of the temperature is displayed now let us format this okay we will change the values of the padding to display it nicely okay we can adjust the value from here for the padding and we will change the font size okay and uh, one more thing we will add the font weight to to this because it is pretty light over here okay this was bold we are going to make it light okay now this is cool now one thing we have to do is okay fix the status bar which is white so for that we have to add this import services dot dot we have to add this package and we have to go to the uh, to our main base class and over here what we will do is we have to use this system chrome okay and over here we can change the value of our status bar okay status bar brightness that is dark okay okay cool now this letters are not visible so what we have to do is we have to change the value of our material app as well okay here also we have to do dark okay so both these values should be similar okay for the status bar to display properly if we are doing it light over here we have to do light for the status bar as well okay but i like to keep this dark so i will do it this way so now this is pretty much done i hope you enjoyed this video and if you really did please share it with your friends who are also learning flutter thank you so much for watching